My name is Ralf and I'm with Sonosys in Germany. Sonosys is a manufacturer of Megasonic cleaning systems. I want to talk about the trends and requirements in wafer cleaning, uh, explain you a little bit more about Megasonic cleaning and introduce the product and solutions of Sonosys. First of all, I want to talk about industry trends. Uh, so the semiconductor industry, as you can see here, is growing over the years steadily. Um, and this uh, statistics with approximately 7.6% uh, annual growth rate. Uh, now, of course, uh, this year is some kind of special and no one knows uh, whether we can achieve this growth rate. Probably not. Mm, on the other hand, the long-term outlook is still intact and uh, so we believe that um, we can expect growing numbers in the following years. So uh, some uh, prognosis is 3.3% uh, in 2020 due to the COVID crisis instead of um, around 7 or 8%. Um, anyway, we see that there is a rising demand out of the memory business um, and other um, sectors. So overall, we have this um, rising trend. And uh, with that goes along the um, shrinking node size. Uh, here's a picture from TSMC as an example showing that um, from several microns um, they went down uh, to 0 0.18, 0 0.13 and so on, 90 nanometers, 65 and uh, currently around 7 nanometers and targeting 5 nanometers. So uh, this is the development in terms of the node size. What comes with that is that we have smaller structure sizes and therefore um, the particle contamination on the surface is more and more critical. Uh, this is why the cleaning step or the cleaning steps in the process of manufacturing is becoming so important because you want to minimize defects and um, if we look at the yield which um, is uh, depending on the defects uh, you have uh, you can see that um, Niedermeyer for example says that in the beginning of um, starting with a process it can be as low as 30 percent then scaling up of course very steeply um, it's uh, making um, some business uh, worth uh, in terms of cost effectiveness uh, above 80 percent which is usually reached um, nowadays uh, rather quickly depending on the process the number of masks the um, uh, structure used and from there you can go on to um, uh, 95 or higher yield um, in terms of uh, getting the most out of the, the wafer. If we look at the wafer fabrication process steps uh, as a whole there is of course many uh, process steps involved and uh, the cleaning itself can be a single step, but it can also be an auxiliary uh, step, uh, for example, within lithography or others. Um, so megasonic cleaning uh, or even other uh, forms of cleaning can be involved in many steps of the uh, wafer fabrication process. So what is actually megasonic cleaning? We want to look at this a little bit closer. Uh, it's a very well-researched topic. There's uh, loads of um, research papers and it was mainly researched in the 90s um, and after that. Uh, nowadays, it's very well understood also the cross effects with, uh, let's say, chemicals used, temperature, um, the, the gas content and others. And so, um, the basic uh, difference to ultrasonic is the frequency range, of course. Um, so that means with ultrasonic, uh, we are talking about usually 20 to 40 kilohertz. If it goes high to 100 kilohertz, usually uh, from 400 kilohertz upwards, we talk about megasonics. Um, it's a direct dependence um, with the particle size. That means if you want to remove submicron particles, uh, then you should go 400 kilohertz or more. Um, the smaller the structure get, uh, not only the removal of the particle becomes important, but also not damaging the structure. Um, so the higher you go in frequency, the smoother the cleaning will be and hence a damage free or a, a less damage um, cleaning can be achieved. So usually if you look at wafer cleaning with nowadays structure it would be um, 2 or 3 megahertz and um, 
You can also uh, use a combination of those um, or uh, cascade the, the, the cleaning steps and there um, get a full range of particle uh, range you uh, remove. How does it work in principle? The cleaning effect is uh, mainly coming from this cavitation effect, which is a bubble that implodes and by implosion um, does have a number of effects um, to remove dirt particles on the surface. Um, the whole thing is included in a micro chat stream within the tank, within the water and needs a, a let's say continuously flow of water to remove the particle or to wash them away once they are removed. There's very high temperatures, high pressures within this uh, bubbles. Um, again, this, uh, in terms of the research, it's very well understood and uh, applied uh, in manifold ways nowadays. Here you can see uh, some wafers uh, in the vertical um, position and the megasonic is coming from down here. Um, the bubbles go along the surfaces and uh, dissolve the dirt particles and uh, this way they are washed away uh, this way and go outside to the tank. If you want to have further information on Megasonic Cleaning, I can recommend two articles uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, one is Megasonic Cleaning, the new ultrasonic cleaning question mark, and nine reasons to use Megasonic system. Uh, please feel free to have a look there. Now let me tell you something about Sonasys and our product portfolio. First of all, uh, we are active in four main markets, uh, which is wafer cleaning, mask cleaning, Liga technology and optics. And the slogan of Sonasys is excellence in ultrasonic and megasonic cleaning. This is what we do, this is what we can, this is what we focus on. And uh, we do this uh, for 25 years now. Uh, the company was founded in 1995 in the south of Germany, Neuenburg, and um, does hold a ISO 9001-2015 uh, quality certification. And we ship approximately 180 systems a year, Megasonic systems. Um, we consider ourselves as a market leader in uh, some fields of Megasonics, uh, for example, the dual nozzle. Um, our products are ranging from 400 kilohertz uh, up to five megahertz currently and um, this is what we mainly do. Uh, we do have, uh, let's say, partners we work with in uh, Asia, uh, namely uh, China and Taiwan, uh, but also Japan, uh, Singapore and South Korea. Uh, in Europe, we are mainly serving directly. Um, we do have a part in France and um, yeah. So for those who do not exactly know where we are, um, this uh, map of Germany shows you that we are located um, southwards from Frankfurt, not far away from Stuttgart leader. So this is where we are. And um, again, our markets are in the area of uh, semiconductor and MEMS. So this is the uh, main focus, uh, but also optics and even in the food industry where the um, application of uh, mega sound can have uh, some higher uh, yields uh, with the oil, um, uh, oil as well. So that's a very nice application too. Um, if we look at our products, um, they range um, from generators over um, transducer plates, uh, submersible transducer, single and dual nozzle, face to face, uh, and even go to uh, atomizers and nebulizers. I will go into a little bit of detail. So starting with the single and dual nozzle, uh, this is a system having a generator and then a nozzle accordingly. Whether this is single or dual nozzle, um, they are available from 600 kilohertz upwards to 5 megahertz. And with the dual nozzle, you can run uh, combinations like 1 to 1 and 2 megahertz, 1 and 3 megahertz, and so on. Can also be custom made, and um, they are very widespread uh, by now in the field. Um, the nozzle simply um, does have a piezo ceramic where the mega sound is. Um, put into the medium that uh, throws uh, through it and uh, this way the megasonic is applied to the water beam that comes out um, to the nozzle. You can see here a video um, with our live demo uh, showing a little bit the functionality of single and dual nozzle.
And the next uh, thing I want to focus on is the transducers and tanks um, and also the submersible transducer. Um, they are available in a variety of um, area, uh, power and frequency. So here you can choose between 400 kilohertz up going up to 2 megahertz, uh, have different uh, power options and uh, we can do um, custom specific um, let's say layouts of the active sound field uh, but also uh, off the shelf transducer systems for four inch six inch eight inch are available so um, yeah there's a broad range of course with the active sound field homogeneity is key we do have here a very long experience uh, we do that for 25 years now and um, also do have an own um, developed power sensor where we make sure that the sound field is the way uh, it should be. Um, such a submersible transducers look like this here on the picture with a generator um, and uh, the active uh, blade here with a PFA coating in this case. And um, yeah, this is what we got in terms of the transducer blades. Here you can see uh, from a, a little video we did for uh, starting operation with our test system, um, the active uh, sound field of such a submersible transducer as well in operation. And uh, then I just want to briefly mention that we do also have a face-to-face -face transducer for single wafer processing. Uh, we do have the atomizers and nebulizers, which are able to produce a fine mist of uh, droplets for uh, water similar or water based fluids. Um, now there's some application examples. So um, here uh, a foil was treated by a laser with uh, some damaging and some dirt. Uh, so the ablation left over was then removed by a megasonic system. Uh, here we do have a Liga example where high aspect ratios are present and uh, by applying megasound to the development process you get very clean structures as you can see. And this is an example of an EUV mask, uh, 60 nanometers. Uh, with cleaning uh, before and after. So you see here dirt particles which are then uh, mainly removed in the after picture. Um, so this is all examples um, of the application of our Megasonic systems. So I want to give you some final thoughts uh, as a wrap up why you uh, should use Sonosys technology in your cleaning application. Uh, we do have a 25 years background, um, which is rich of um, making experiences and uh, improvements in developments of our products and solutions. We consider ourselves as a technology leader in many aspects of uh, our offerings. Um, we are <clears throat> specialized in ultra and mega sound. This is what we do. This is what we know and what we are known for. Um, we do have our own R&D for both generators and transducers, which uh, results in that we have very efficient auto-tuning generators um, with patented piezo ceramics for highest performance and re reliability. Um, the generators in particular, they are optimized for optimal power output and energy reduction. Um, so very convenient systems. And by now we have approximately 4,500 systems out in the market. Our slogan again is Mastering NanoClean Together, which simply means that we are interested in working together with the end customer as well as with equipment uh, manufacturers. Um, as you know, uh, we need to work closely here together in the supply chain to make uh, uh, the system work and to have a good overall solution for the client. So hopefully this small introduction helped you a little bit understanding Megasonic Cleaning and what comes with it. If you have further questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to assist. Thank you.